Ayaka banner has just been dropped literally when I had just posted my Ayaka banner prediction video and I have to say guys we have predicted quite correctly her 4 star characters however the weapon banner was close with it still being a claymore weapon just not the wolf gravestone which is kinda sad but either way in this video especially for free to play player you may want to pay attention because I will be going through the top 5 major consideration you need to take into consideration before you decide to pull for Ayaka this time Brown. Now if you're new to the channel guys, I usually do monthly giveaway on our Discord server including character giveaway sometimes. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe to the channel and join the Discord server to enter. And with that, let's jump into the video. And so first and foremost one of the most important questions you should be asking yourself is Ayaka still worth pulling? And the straight answer I would give you is yes Ayaka is definitely worth pulling. She is definitely still an absolutely fantastic character and yes she is going to be a very valuable character for you for a very long long time. Now, this comment is actually on my personal side but either way in terms of meta wise Ayaka is still one of the most used character in the abyss. Ayaka has one of the best kit in the game to date with her passive talent providing her an insane amount of attack buff from 30% no more and charge attack increase with an additional of 18% cryo damage bonus and the skills are practically activated 100% of the time and right now almost no character in the game can you find with this good of a buff. The charge attack and no more attack already have very good scaling and pair that up to all of the buff that she gets from the passive is already enough to use Ayaka as a solo character. But that's not all, the most important skill in Ayaka kit is her burst. This skill is if not one of the best bursts in the game till now because of how much damage it actually able to do. Her burst does 20 tick all with high scaling in very quick session taking out your enemies before you even know it. In many of the cases Ayaka will only need one burst rotation to take out all of her enemies. The only thing with her burst is that she does require it not to miss because if you do miss then it's practically way up to 80% of Ayaka's DPS potential. Therefore this requires her to be in freeze team most of the time but this team is actually the easiest to function in the game making it usable for everyone. This makes Ayaka one of the best cryo dealer in the game if not the best cryo DPS at this point because sometimes she's more preferred than Ganyu as she can clear the abyss floor at much faster time than Ganyu due to her burst just chipping away enemies HP at an insane speed. Now I know I said that Ayaka is definitely worth pulling for because she is however that doesn't mean that it applies for everyone there are many factors you need to take into account when you're pulling for a character because even though Ayaka is good she is not a must pull as go for any character in the game and especially when free to play player like you always have to take your primo gem spending into consideration so when I say you have to think if Ayaka is a fit for you what I mean is first you need to see whether she fits your playstyle because Ayaka does have one of the most unique playstyle in the game being her dash. If you don't feel like you can put up with her dash then she's most likely not going to be a fit since you might not use her as much once you pull for her. Also due to her burst requiring enemies lock in place you're almost always going to be using her in freeze team. It's quite hard to leave her in other team comp especially when you're up against a whole group of enemies. Her burst requires grouping otherwise it's going to be wasted on just his small holotropes. So unless you can put up with freeze team majority of the time when using Ayaka you should consider this before going for her. Also currently Ayaka requires quite expensive support in order to take her damage to the next level. Mainly characters like Shan He, Venti, Kokomi, Mona and even Bennett and Kazuha. We do have some other free to play option but mainly the character mentioned above are those who appear the most in Ayaka's team. So once again you do want to keep that in mind as I'm sure the majority of us don't have access to characters like Shan He or Mona or even Kazuha at this point. So Mihoyo just dropped Ayaka banner and as we predicted we have Razor, Rosaria and Sayu. Razor haven't been back for over a year so it makes sense that he appears here. However he doesn't work well with Ayaka so you won't benefit much if you want to have good support for her. But Ayaka can help Razor with super conduct which benefits him so if you want to become a Razor main then I guess that you should try to successfully pull for Ayaka to support Razor. As for Rosaria and Sayu they are both a 
amazing character to support Ayaka. They both can be on the same team. Rosaria is an amazing cryo battery that helps with very consistent cryo application. Then there's Sayu for an Animo healer. So the only character you're missing is a Hydro, which is where Singchu fits perfectly, and you get him for free in the current event. So you basically have a complete team for Ayaka if your account is pretty new. Either way, if you're someone who doesn't want Ayaka but want to go for some of these characters' constellation, then you can try going for them as their constellations are pretty good. So before we kind of predicted that it's going to be the Wolf Gravestone, but in the end, we ended up with the Unforged, which I'm pretty surprised to see its return this early, considering that it's just last appeared on Raiden Shogun's weapon banner. Either way, since the Mist Splitter is just so good, many of us will be considering to pull. And I have to say, even though it's the Unforged, this Claymore being here is definitely better than the Skyward Spine, which last appeared for sure. The Unforged is actually really good. I would say that its ability and damage output won't be any less compared to the Wolf Gravestone, the only thing you need to consider is always have a shield available for maximum passive. So I would say that the weapon banner this time around is the better one for you to go for. And I'm sending you guys all the luck if you're trying to go for Miss Splitter. But if you do end up with the Unforged, then it's a good weapon to have either way. Now, on top of Ayaka's banner, we do have to think about the future upcoming banners as well, especially for free to play player to look out for and start saving up. We do know that Yilan is going to be coming pretty soon, right after. Ayaka and she's going to be a pretty good character. Any new character coming afterward we're not entirely sure, however we also know that Sumeru is going to be coming quite soon and there will be the introduction of the Dendro Archon. This might seem a bit far away, however it might not be for the majority of free to play player. If you're still just half considering Ayaka, then just don't pull for her for the fun and simply the joy of pressing the primo button and pull. New characters are coming and even if they don't end up as a meta character their design and animation will still be pretty good because Hoyoverse usually nail this most of the time. So what I'm trying to say is do consider hard before going for Ayaka if you're quite limited on Primo Gems as once again she is not a must pull. Now if you're going to be pulling for Ayaka anyway then I will be sending my greatest luck that you succeed in pulling for her but for those of you who have been considering her I hope that this video has been able to help you out. If you do have any questions feel free to leave down in the comment section and I will get to you there. If you're new to the channel guys be sure to subscribe as in many of the upcoming videos I will be creating Ayaka updated build and Ayaka best team as well as many new characters to come and I'm sure the channel will be very helpful especially for a free to play player. And with that I wish you a super day and I will catch you on the next video.